It's been several years now since the Beatles broke up, and ever since that breakup, there has been much talk of the group getting back together again. Today, we have all four Beatles together to talk about themselves and the chances of the group reforming. John, you were always the spokesman for the group. Do you think the Beatles will ever record together again? No, 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 not a second time. Is there anything that would make you change your mind about that? Some people say the Beatles broke up in the first place because you and Paul couldn't work together anymore. Do you have any comment on that? No reply. Well then, will you tell us why you think the Beatles broke up? I'll try instead. Okay, John, let's get into something else. There have been several women in your life. Of course, everyone knows about Cynthia and Yoko. Were there any others? <laughs> That's a lot of women, John. How do you keep it up? I'm so tired. Well, I don't wonder about that. Have you been out at all tonight? It's been a hard day tonight. Well, I guess that answers that question. Tell me, John, do you plan to do anything so you can get a rest? Slow down. Well, that might be a good idea. Getting back to Yoko, John, Yoko records too. Do the two of you ever record together? Well, John, we're going to have to leave you now. Oh, you can't do that. But I've got to talk to the other Beatles. I'll catch you in the end. I'm sorry you feel that way, John, but it's over. Goodbye. You say goodbye, and I say hello. Paul, you heard what John had to say about the Beatles getting back together again. Do you think it might ever happen? A lot of people feel you should reunite. Do you know anybody who feels that way? Anybody else? John admitted to having a lot of girlfriends. Was there anyone in your life before Linda? Where did you meet Linda? And what did you say to her when you first met? Would it be asking too much if I ask where you and Linda live? Paul, there was a time when people thought you were dead. Nobody could find you during that period. Where were you? A female reporter finally did locate you. How did she manage to sneak up on you? If the Beatles are to get back together again, you and John are going to have to start talking to each other more. Do you think you can do that? We can work it out. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, Paul. Now we're talking to George Harrison. George, are you ready to talk to us? Go away, leave me alone, don't bother me. Well, I know you don't like reporters, but just what do you think we are? Come on, George, I know you don't really feel that way. Won't you please talk to me? Do you want to know a secret? That's better. What's your secret? Everybody's trying to be my baby. Well, that's nice, but that's not what we're here to talk about. I want to tell you. Okay, okay, what do you want to tell me? Something. Come on, George, let's not play games. What is it? She's got the devil in her heart. Come on, George, is that all? I'm happy just to dance with you. Oh, you're a real comedian today, aren't you, George? Let's get serious for a minute. You've been heard to say that you don't have much money. The Beatles made millions. Who's got all your money? The tax man. One final thing, George. You keep very much to yourself. When was the last time you saw any of the other Beatles? Ringo, what do you have to say? What goes on? Well, I don't know if I understand, Ringo. What do you mean? Don't pass me by. Don't make me cry. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry you're last, but I wasn't going to skip you. Ringo, let's hear something from you on the drums. Besides drumming and singing, what else do you want to do? They're gonna put me in the movies. Oh, and what are you gonna do? All I got 
gotta do is act naturally. Do you think you're a very good actor, Ringo? Ringo, if the Beatles ever do get back together again, where do you think the reunion will take place? In the town where I was born. Well, Ringo, I'd like to thank you and John, Paul and George for a good time and good night. Good.